that certain Aquaman starlet has absolutely destroyed James Franco because James Franco will now be testifying on her behalf. Now, what's going to be fascinating is listening to him try to explain away what this footage is because this footage, well, it is one day after an alleged incident between that certain Aquaman starlet and J.D. Look who's there. Look who's very, very close. That's right. It's Mr. Franco. Now, that's not all he's going to be asked either. Oh, no, not by a long shot. Now, once he settles into a narrative of deniability, oh, the declaration of one Vince Jolivet will come into play. This was one of his business partners. This person is also backing JD. And what he's revealed here, yeah, it gives you the feeling that this stuff, it's basically a trap for James Franco. And he's just walked right into it because of her. And he's going to end up wrecked and ruined. This, it is starting to get fun. So, hey there to all you fine folks on this Fine day, by the way. I hope you are doing excellently. And before we get started, I'm going to ask that you back our new book. It is live on Indiegogo. It's funding right now. Link is in the description. This is how we stay away from sponsors. We actually bring you everything we think we should talk about. Plus, we put out a good product and we counter those companies that do not respect you. And in case you were unaware, the witness list for both JD and that certain Aquaman starlet, they dropped. I mean, this stuff, it is public. It is coming up in less than a month. Some fireworks in this stuff, too. But one name that really stood out to me and has avoided this trap so far. I mean, after all, he didn't give testimony in the UK, but now he's going to do it there and live. Yep. That's James Franco. See, in my opinion, the reason that he's doing this is because he thinks it might salvage his career. And he is desperate for that, too. He, in fact, he did an interview December 22nd, 2021, explaining this. I want you to listen to a little. It's a long interview, but I only want to play a minute or so. Well, in 2018, um, there were some complaints about me and uh, an article about me and... um, at that moment, um, I just thought, I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be, I'm going to pause. It did not seem like the right time to say anything. Um, there were people that were upset with me and I needed to listen. Um, there's a, um, there's a writer, I, uh, Damon Young, and he talked about, you know, when something like this happens, like the natural human instinct is to, just make it stop. You just want to get out in front of it and whatever you have to do, apologize, you know, get it done. But <clears throat> what that doesn't do is allow you to do the the work to, and, and to look at what was underneath, like whatever you did, even if it was a gaffe or you said something wrong or whatever, there's probably an iceberg underneath that of behavior, of patterning, of just being blind to yourself that isn't going to just be solved overnight. So I've just been doing a lot of work and I guess I'm pretty confident saying like it's four years, you know, and, um, Now, the problem for James Franco here is he's going to be asked questions that he does not want to answer. And when he's answering those questions, I can only imagine how he's going to frame that. For example, I mean, we have this footage right here. And if you don't know about the incidents between that certain Aquaman Scarlet and J.D., there was the final alleged incident that transpired on 05-21-2016. That was the last time that they were around one another well right after that you have this elevator ride happen and guess who she's going to go pick up that's right she's about to go pick up james franco now these folks they have a long history too and she's going to try to play out this history saying hey you know he's coming over he's just a friend i mean after all we've been in movies together he knew my sister i mean what else really can you say about me here i mean i can see that happening right now in the courtroom there's only one problem with that and it's going to be a huge huge problem watch the two right here i mean watch how they act watch their body language their proximity remembering again that jd he has been out of the house 
one day. And that is a big thing when you're talking about the defense of that certain Aquaman starlet. She's saying everything he thought, oh, it was made up. It feeds into all of the stuff that I said there. Well, if this ends up being true, if you have problems with that, what else is going to be a problem? Now, while we don't know all of the questions that he will be asked, we know some of them via subpoena. Number one, he's going to be asked for all documents or communication he relied upon when he got on the stand there. That'll be interesting, too. How do you remember this stuff again? Number two, what communications have you had with that certain Aquaman starlet, not just with this visit, but with other visits? How long have you been in communications? Also, can we see all of the communications between you and that certain Aquaman starlet from May 20th, so that'll be the day before its alleged incident, to June 15th, 2016. So you'll have stuff in the aftermath. All documents reflecting your in-person interactions with that certain Aquaman starlet on that day. So May 22nd, we just saw, yeah, can you show us what you had from that? Number six, all documents concerning that certain Aquaman starlet's allegations against JD. And number seven, all communications between you and that certain Aquaman starlet concerning said allegations because she's the one that brought them up in a courtroom. Now, personally, I think that James Franco is going to try to back up that certain Aquaman starlet. He's going to try to say, number one, he was there comforting and consoling. That's all you saw. All of that proximity. Uh Uh-uh. That's just friends. And by the way, while he was that close, hey, I bore witness to something else. It's not there on any video. It's not there in any pictures. But hey, you know, James Franco, he saw it because he wants back his career. The problem is that James Franco, he's going to run into a roadblock. And that's going to be the declaration of one Vince Gillivette. This guy, he was the producer on around 300 hundred films. Why does that matter? Well, because he worked with James Franco at Rabbit Bandai Productions until he thankfully moved on. You notice that? Thankfully moved on. If people start asking questions about why that is, that's going to cause him a problem. If they start asking questions about his relationship with the art of Elysium and Jennifer Howe and certain person's sister, that's going to cause problems. Yeah, he's going to end up digging a hole. It's going to be deep. And the only thing that's going to be there is a certain Aquaman starlet to help him kick dirt right in. If you would, check out our book and back it. It is live on Indiegogo right now. This is how we stay sponsor-free. We are beholden to no one except you us and the truth. That's all that's important. We can put out a great product too. And on top of that, we can put out something that's an alternative to companies that denigrate you, that won't put out good products. Yep, we appreciate you and we want you to know that. I want to thank you too. Thanks for boosting the channel. Thanks for watching this. Thanks for backing as well. Until next time, we will see you soon.